What's going on guys and welcome to another video and today I thought we would take a look back at all the gas masks since the game has been released. I'm pretty sure I have all of them but if I'm missing one I do apologize but let's get into it. Now I'm also going to include the gas masks that are a part of an outfit such as the Liberty outfit for the UK that has one on his chest piece or the Jackal for the Germans that has one around his waist. Now I'm including these just to show you guys how absurd DICE has gone with these gas mask cosmetics. And to me, I really enjoy the gas masks, but to others, it's more of a meme now. Now don't get me wrong, for the first year of Battlefield's somewhat of a live service, every second outfit that came to the armory had a gas mask for a headpiece. And if there wasn't a headpiece, there would be one present somewhere on the outfit itself. Not only did the armory offer gas mask cosmetics, they also introduced them into a few chapter progression unlocks, such as the Scrapper for the UK and the German. But as time went on and the Japanese faction was introduced, it was only a matter of time till they also received gas mask cosmetics. And in my opinion, they looked awesome and blended in very well with different outfits. But since the content has been cut for Battlefield 5 and we've seen all the unreleased outfits, I was surprised DICE didn't add any more to the game. But again, I'm sure that pleases a lot of people at this point and obviously those cosmetics are not for everyone. But I thought it would be kind of funny to look back at how many of these masks we got for cosmetics and how many were actually in the game. But like I said guys, you either enjoyed these or you didn't. I may be one of the few that actually did. But aside from that guys, I hope everyone is doing well. These are very weird times for all of us. And since we got a lot of new subscribers to the channel, I just wanted to say thank you for stopping by and watching. It means a lot to me. And I know Battlefield 6 is far from our hands. But I'm just excited to play something new and hopefully DICE takes the right steps to make a big comeback for the franchise and make the game playable and not in a beta state like Battlefield 5 was. To me, it's still very weird to think that there's no more content coming for Battlefield 5, but like I said before in other videos, it's been a long rocky road for all of us and I think just everyone wanted to play a game that actually felt finished and now that we've reached the end of the Battlefield 5 cycle with this last content patch, it seemed fun to play again. But there's just no more coming so th at this point it's just kind of weird to kind of progress through the game itself knowing that this is it for it. And not only that it took almost two years for DICE to give us historically accurate outfits which please a lot of people and we're still missing most of the outfits that people actually want brought back just like the Wild Eagle outfit or the GI or the Yankee. I still don't understand why DICE has added them to the armory yet. But that's just me rambling on guys. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And if you did enjoy it, consider leaving a like. But again, if you're new to the channel, maybe check some videos out. And if you like them, maybe consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one.